The steaming garbage inferno of the power purchase agreements problem just keeps raging out of control. This time, a coal community close to Edmonton has produced something the NDP completely fear, an evidence-based economic assessment into just how the coal phase-out is going to hurt their community. Parkland County CAO Mike Heck says it could cost Parkland County $14 million. And Parkland County and their mayor, Rod Chagas, is furious that the coal producers are getting an early payout from the government to cancel the contracts and leave their community just holding the bag. Let's go back a minute though, because these power purchase agreements can be a little bit confusing. There's a lot of history here. These contracts to buy and sell electricity are held by a government agency, the balancing pool, to act as a go-between between the electricity generators and you and I, the consumer. And when the NDP decided to phase out coal-fired electricity, they made so many of these contracts unprofitable that the electricity producers started walking away from their contracts altogether because that's what the contracts say they can do if an act of government rendered them to be junk. This caused the balancing pool, that government agency, to start hemorrhaging money and an estimated $2.6 billion will be lost by 2020. So the government extended them unlimited taxpayer-backed credit to fix that whole mess, but it gets worse. At the same time, the NDP decided to start a process of compensating coal producers for having to come offline early. $1.1 billion over the next 13 years. So $1.1 billion for the power companies to not work at all and another $2.6 billion to the balancing pool to put a band-aid on the butcher knife wound over there. And you know who was forgotten in this whole mess? Alberta's coal communities who don't want any handouts, they just want to work. 1,300 direct jobs in Parkland County rely on coal-fired electricity. Parkland County only collects $55 million in property taxes each year, and they stand to lose $2 million in tax revenue directly each year from the coal producers and the coal mines shutting down. But that doesn't even take into account the outward migration of the property tax base from the town as people move away because they happen to be one of the 1,300 people in Parkland County who were put out of work because the government killed their jobs and their town. Taxes will have to go up on those who remain just to compensate, causing more people to move away. It creates a spiral. There's going to be a lot of empty houses in Alberta's coal communities equipped with those free light bulbs and low flow shower heads our carbon tax bought. While the NDP are handing out welfare for multi-billion dollar corporations to not work and not produce anything, they're putting entire communities in Alberta on the welfare lines. And the NDP cowards, while they still won't visit these sacrifice communities and explain themselves. For The Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. At The Rebel, we don't get a big government handout like they do at the CBC. We rely on crowdfunding from people like you. Right now, we are undertaking a very big project. We're building our own alternative to YouTube to go around the rampant censorship from Google. Go to theycantstopus.com where you can learn about our plan and donate today.